Okay, this is a video on the Ramanujan summation, um, which is the sum of all positive integers, and we're going to actually show that it equals negative 1 twelfth. So we are looking at the sum of all positive integers, so 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7, and we keep on adding um, the numbers on indefinitely, and we're going to show it equals negative 1 twelfth. Now this sequence, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4, etc., is a diverging sequence, okay? So it keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. It doesn't actually converge to a point, which is why this is a little bit illogical, um, as opposed to a diver converging sequence. And a converging sequence is something that actually has a limit. It will reach a particular point. It will sum up to a particular value. So this is a diverging sequence, and we're showing that it has an actual value. So to do this, there are three parts, and I'm going to look at each of them separately. So part one is we're going to start off with the sequence, and the sequence is we're going to call it A, and the sequence is 1, take away 1, plus 1, take away 1, plus 1, take away 1, and so on, and we're going to do that indefinitely. Any thoughts on what this actually sums to? Well, in order to find out, we are going to subtract A, so we're going to subtract this sequence from 1, and we're going to do that on both sides. So on the left-hand side, I'm going to have 1 subtract A, and on the right-hand side, I'm going to have 1 subtract all of the sequence. So what I do to one side, I have to do to the other. Plus dot dot dot. So on the left hand side, I've got 1 minus a. And on the right hand side, I've got 1 subtract. I'm subtracting all of this sequence. So I'm subtracting 1. And then I'm subtracting a negative. So that means if I'm subtracting a negative, I'm actually adding 1. Then subtracting positive one again, then subtracting negative one, subtracting negative one becomes plus one, and so on. We've got the pattern going on here. And if we look at this, on the right hand side, I've got one take away one plus one, which is actually the same as our initial sequence. So this is A. And now I've got a um, equation that I can solve for a, so if I add a to both sides, I'm going to have 2a equals 1, so a equals 1 half. So what we're saying is a, which is this sequence, 1 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 plus 1, etc., doing that indefinitely, actually sums to 1 half. So that's the first part. Right, the second part is as follows. So we're going to start again with another sequence, so part two. And we're going to call this sequence B. And we're going to set this sequence is defined to be 1 minus 2 plus 3 minus 4 plus 5 minus 6 plus 7, etc. And that's going to keep going. Okay, so we've got the pattern here. 1 minus 2 plus 3 minus 4 plus 5 minus 6 and so on. We're going to work out what this actually sums to. Take a guess. Okay, and the way that we're going to sum this sequence up is we're going to subtract b from a. So we're going to subtract b from a. So that means I'm going to have a subtract b. So a, remember, is all of this. So 1 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 plus 1, minus 1 plus 1, and so on. So we're taking this as a, and we're going to subtract all of b, which is 1 minus 2 plus 3 minus 4 plus 5 minus 6 plus etc. Okay, so what is this going to give us? Let's have a little look. So I've got, I'm going to group my 
like terms together. I've got one, and then I've got <clears throat> subtract one. So I'm going to put those two together. I'm going to put it in brackets just to keep it separate. Then I've got negative one, subtract negative two. So I've got negative one, and I'm subtracting negative two. Now, if I'm subtracting a negative, that means I am adding a positive. So I've got adding on to that negative one, subtract negative two, so that's the same as adding a positive. Then I've got this plus one, and I'm subtracting positive three. So I'm subtracting three. Then I've got negative one, subtracting negative four, so that means I'm adding four, and so on. We're going to keep doing that um, indefinitely. So let's actually work out what each part in the brackets. So one take away one, so that's zero. I've got negative one plus two, which is one. I've got one take away three, which is negative two. I've got negative one plus four, which is positive three. And if I was to keep going, I would actually then get negative four, and I would get plus five, and then negative six, etc. And if we look at this sequence, well, that is actually the same as B. So I've got A minus B equals B. And I can solve this for B. So I'll add B to both sides. I get 2B equals A. And we've already worked out that A is equal to... Aha! So if I divide both sides by B... Sorry, divide both sides by 2. I get B is equal to... A quarter. So that tells us that this sequence, one minus two plus three minus four plus five minus six plus seven and so on, actually equals one quarter. Okay, now for the, the kicker, okay, the actual showing the proof part, or the actual Ramanujan series. Let me just put a little divisor down here. So we're going to start this by doing it the same way. We're going to start with our sequence. So we're going to say, we're going to let, this is our last part, part two. And we're going to start with C, which we're saying is equal to 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4, so the sum of all positive integers, adding it up indefinitely. And we're going to do the similar type um, procedure as before. We're going to subtract, not subject, we're going to subtract B from C. Sorry, I've got that the wrong way around. It's actually we're going to subtract C from B. Okay, so I've got B minus C. So B is this sequence. 1 minus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 minus 6, etc. Plus dot dot dot. And we're subtracting off c which is one plus two plus three plus four plus five plus six etc okay let's see what we get we've got one take away one which is zero actually i'll just set it out i'll do it step by step so one take away one that one take away one is zero then i've got negative two subtract 2. Then I've got positive 3, subtract 3. Then I've got negative 4, subtract 4. 
plus, and so on. So now I can work out the bits in the brackets. So I've got one takeaway, one is zero. I've got negative two takeaway two, which is negative four. Three takeaway three is zero. Negative four takeaway four is negative eight. Then I would have five takeaway five, which would be five takeaway positive five, which would be zero again. Then I'm going to have um, negative six takeaway six, negative six, and that would be takeaway six, which would be negative 12, and so on. So what are we getting from this sequence or series? We've got negative four, takeaway eight, takeaway 12, the next one would be takeaway 16, and so on. Okay, now this doesn't look much like our original sequence. But what I can do is if I take negative 4 out as a common factor, so negative 4 times 1 gives me negative 4. Negative 4. Negative 4 times positive 2 gives me negative 8. Negative 4 times positive 3 gives me negative 12. Negative 4 times positive 4 gives me negative 16, and so on. Carries on indefinitely. And then what do we notice about this part? 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4, and so on. That's actually C. So I've got B minus C equals negative 4 C. And I can solve this now, okay, for C. So I'm going to do that by adding C to both sides. I'm going to get b is equal to negative 3c. And then to find out what c is, just write it around the other way. So I've got negative 3c equals b. And in order to find c, I'm going to divide both sides by 3. But before I do that, I'll just I know that b is equal to a quarter. So divide both sides by 3, sorry, by negative 3, I'm going to get negative 1 twelfth. And we said that C is equal to 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5, the sum of all positive integers. So we've got 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4, plus 5, etc. If we carry on indefinitely, we can, we've can. just shown that our series actually equals negative 1 twelfth, which, yes, is not very logical, but it does have applications. It's used in string theory and other branches of physics, but it kind of starts to hurt the brain because it makes no sense um, when we've got a diverging series that actually converges. All right, I kind of went through that kind of quick, but um, give me a shout if you have any questions and I will do my best to answer them.